What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm blocking off the DI ports on my N54 cylinder head for less than $100. So to start off, you want to get yourself an 11 by 30 seconds drill bit. You want it to be a little bit longer than this guy here. Uh, I'm just showing you this because it has a size on it. I use this one. It doesn't need to be this long, but at least like half the size. So yeah, so get yourself one of those drill bits. You want to get yourself a tap. The tap is going to be M10 by 125. And then I have this little sleeve here that came in my PPI injector bore repair kit. So the way this works, technically you don't need this, but I just have it. It just helps you dr drill straight. So you want to toss that little guy in there in the injector bore. You want to take your drill bit, you want to drill, boom. Once you're done drilling, drill all the way. This wants to come out. Once you're done drilling, drill all the way through. Um, run your tap through it, boom. Um, I'm using this cutting fluid. You can use grease, oil, whatever you want. I'm using that. Run your tap all the way through. And then I don't have my bolts yet, but I'm gonna be using bolts to block off all the holes. Um, you wanna make sure that the bolts made out of titanium, that's very important because that'll reduce um, any hot spots in the combustion chamber. And then when you insert the bolts in, before inserting, you wanna put a good amount of high temperature thread locker on the threads. You want to put your bolts all the way in there. Make sure that, that the bolts are M10 by 125. And you want the length of the bolt to be 25 millimeters. Uh, I'll put everything down below as far as what you need for this kit. But uh, yeah, so once your bolts are in there, you also want to get yourself 26 millimeter freeze plugs for each bore here. The purpose of that, it isn't sealing any uh, combustion. The, pr the purpose of that is going to be to just protect the threads and the bolt from any water or like debris getting in there, uh, causing corrosion. Obviously, we're going to be running port injection only, so you don't use the high pressure fuel pump anymore. So when you take the high pressure fuel pump out, you're going to have a hole on the vacuum pump on the backside. <laughs> That hole is 50 millimeters, so you also want to get yourself a 50 millimeter freeze plug, which I will also put down below for you guys, so it's just easy for you just to buy everything. Um, so yeah, that fr freeze plug is going to run you like a couple of dollars rather than getting a block off plate from Vargas or whoever else makes one, because those block off plates are like 150 to $200, I think. And there's a couple ways guys are blocking the DI off, but I feel like this is the best because I know Vargas and Drift HQ make like little pencil style um, plugs using the Teflon seal, which in my opinion, I think is garbage because the Teflon seal always tends to fail. Either that fails or your injector bores ovalize, and then you're going to need to be doing this anyways. So I'd rather just do it right the first time. Um, or you could go with the PPI kit. They, they basically make a kit. Um, it's basically like the same thing that I'm doing here, but it's $300. So I'd just rather do this, save 200 bucks, put it somewhere else. Whoever's wondering what I'm using to control the port injection, I'm gonna be going max CCU. My harness right now is getting built by Liam Built. It's a nice little custom harness he's making for me. Um, the reason why I'm going standalone is just because I'm completely over the stock DME. At high horsepower, it has nothing but issues. I'm aware that Nexus and MHD is coming out with the port injection only, but you're still going to have issues at high horsepower as far as the engine or as far as the DME throwing or sensing false knock. And at high horsepower, you're not really commanding the DME to do something. You're kind of like asking it and like hoping that it does it. Rather than with max ECU, 
Um, it's literally a race ECU. So whatever you tell it, it's going to do. Um, it's also CAN bus. So, I mean, you can't really go wrong with it. Everything in the car still works like a stock car. You have your radio that works. Gauges work. Traction control works. If the car's keyless entry, it still works. Like everything still works. The EKP works. Um, you can still code it using Pro Tools. I don't see why you wouldn't want to go standalone uh, when you're trying to push high horsepower because it's also safer for your motor. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really trying to blow another $10,000 motor just to wait on Nexus or MHC to come out with something that we don't even know is going to be good yet. Maxi CU also has a bunch of features that the stock DME will probably never have, uh, like two-step, no lift shift you can add as many sensors as you want for example uh, me and liam were opting for egt sensors on my exhaust manifold for each cylinder so with that my tuner is going to be able to monitor uh, the temperatures of each cylinder so if one gets too hot the ec will pull timing in that individual cylinder before it's too late which the stock dme doesn't do all right boys so this is what we're doing here to plug off the high pressure fuel pump this is the vacuum pump right here we're gonna be using a 50 millimeter freeze plug my boy right now is just getting the little edge off there just deburn it to help it slide in check the ice yeah he's just chipping away at it right now we're gonna use this clamp right here Hopefully it goes in smooth, because before I was just trying to hammer it in and she wasn't going, so. We're just putting some heat in it right now, so it expands to help it slide in a little bit better. Got the freeze plug. We got the little jig going right now. Two two by fours, two clamps. All right, boys, so that fucking clamp didn't work, so. We got this pry bar here. I'm basically gonna show you what we did. Just smacked her in there. Yep, she's flush. It's good to go, she didn't leak. It's kind of annoying to get in, but she's in. She might need to get in a little bit more over here, but should be good. So my titanium bolts came in the mail finally. Got them here. Please make sure that you get 25 millimeter length bolts because if you get any shorter or any longer it isn't going to work and i'm going to be using this i'm going to show you guys i'm going to put it in now hey yo who's this guy what I'm you got in there coming, man. oh shit gotta have the eats man gotta, gotta have the eats, eats. We're about to get busy all right we're about to drop her in thread her in there as you can see Red sealant, um, gas line, Teflon tape. It's going by hand. Got it with a ratchet. And then I'm not gonna show you guys doing it on all of them because it's 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 the same process. So just wanna go snug. That should be it. Let's look under the head. Now it should be flush. As you can see there. If it'll focus, boom. Direct injection delete. You do the same thing to all of them. All right, boys, all the bolts are in, as you can see here. I mean, you can probably barely see, but yeah, they're all in. Um, once you thread them all the way in, give it like a quarter turn, just so the head's like seats in the head, the head of the bolt. I'm gonna flip her around here, show you under here. See, they're all nice and flush. Nice and flush in there. Good to go. I'm 
I'm just waiting on the freeze plugs for these little bores here. Like I said earlier in the video, that's just so no water and grime gets in. So yeah, guys, um, stay tuned. I'm just waiting on my block right now from CSS. So once I get that back, I'll be pumping out videos of uh, putting the whole motor together, showing you guys how it's done with torque specs and everything. And yeah, make sure you drop a, a like on, on the video, subscribe, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.